The ocean isn't a mirror of the sky. It owes its color to how water and light interact, plus whatever suspended or dissolved in it. Pure water absorbs longer wavelengths, reds, oranges, yellows, very efficiently. These warm colors vanish within a few meters, so only shorter blue light survives to scatter back. Those remaining blue photons penetrate deepest and rebound off water molecules, returning to your eye. That unaltered blue dominates open ocean hues, even on a cloudy day. When microscopic phytoplankton bloom, their chlorophyll A soaks up blue-violet and red light and reflects green. You can see this in summer algal blooms across Chesapeake Bay, where clear blue turns emerald during peak plankton growth. Rock flower or glacial flower is ultra-fine silt and clay ground by moving glaciers. Suspended in meltwater, it scatters all wavelengths equally. Try Canada's Lake Louise for milky turquoise shores. Dissolved tannins from decaying leaves absorb blue and green, leaving tea-brown hues seen in Brazil's Rio Negro. Depth then decides the final stroke. Deep water stays sapphire. Shallow coves wear the local tint. Like, share, and subscribe for more science you can see.